everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo, and today we're going to talk about multi-window on the Samsung Galaxy Fold. And since we're here, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jamea's Promo, and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Fold, the S10, the S10 Plus, and the Galaxy Note 10. Now, one area where the Galaxy Fold stands out is going to be its multi windows, and it does a fantastic job at it. And I really hope that in the future, what we're able to see is this type of multi window that would be put onto, let's say, the Galaxy S10 series, the Note 10 series, and hopefully the future phones. The only downside is that because it is part of this multi window tray that's on the right hand side, it did take away from my edge screen panels, which I am a little sad, but multi window experience on the Galaxy Fold is fantastic and superior. So first off, in order to turn on this multi-window tray or this multi-window experience, you want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says advanced features. Now underneath advanced features, it's only one little toggle. Once you toggle this one on, this is the multi-window tray. Now, once this one is turned on, you are able to pull it out anywhere on the right hand side of the phone. You will also have this button down here, which will expand it, make it bigger. You have more applications you can use, you can select, uh, you can also edit your tray, but you also have your button over here that can minimize this when you are done and complete. Now, how I have mine set up is I have three applications that I put there purposely, and then the three on the bottom is there for recent applications. So if you're using something just very recent, then one of these will always sit right there. But if you add more up here that is there sitting there permanently, then it'll take away from the recent applications and there will always be six applications on the right hand side. So let's say that you wanted to edit your tray. So even though it shows and kind of condenses these down that you're able to add in another one, so it looks like it could be four and then three, uh, what's really going to happen is that it'll actually go four and then two. So let's say that we go on back and we open this up so you can see here it's going to show the most recent two on the bottom and then your main four on the top so you can have it set up any way that you would like i'm going to put mine as three on the top because messages is one of those where you might want to have multiple screens running at the same time the same thing with youtube because maybe you're watching youtube but also your calendar so yours could be different than mine but you might be looking at your calendar to reach back to somebody else on when you're available when you want to go out or you might be just checking out like oh hey let's do something on october 20th you're like what day is that uh, then you just really open it up and it's pretty fast and simple and then down here it's just kind of whatever's most recent is what it's going to show so any of these applications is what you're able to use in this multi-window format. Now, when you're done and you have it all set up, pretty much how it's going to work is this. If you have no uh, application that is open right now and you go over and then you basically, let's say that you just want to open one up. So when you open up uh, Facebook right over here, you're going to see this and your main home screen is going to pop up over here. And then on this side, if you open up, uh, let's say YouTube, then you're going to see it still looking like this. Uh, and then when you go over and you open up your other application now it's going to go onto the bottom now let's say that you wanted to see what it looked like when you had a application that was already opened so let's say that you're right here you're on youtube you've already got this application opened you open up your little multi-window tray right over here and then now it's going to just put it right over here on the right hand side and then one more time if you wanted to open up one other thing now you got your calendar on the bottom you can check out what's going on you can still head right over here you can watch your videos um, and as this video is being played and watched you can still interact with everything over here interact with everything over here uh, and it's not going to bother anything the only thing that's going to pop up is once you open this up and let's say that you wanted to respond with a text then your keyboard is going to pretty much cover the bottom right hand side but everything is still going you can see the gif is still playing over here the video over here is actually still going uh, so it doesn't stop anything because this phone does have the 12 gigs of ram it's super powerful now let's talk about moving around some of these windows because maybe you want your calendar to be a little bit bigger. All you would have to do is press and hold on that little blue line and then now you're able to move it and change it around. So now this one is gonna be the larger screen. This one over here is gonna be the smaller screen. Uh, and if you would want to move this one right back over there, you just take this large, and I mean, you can really move it anywhere you want to um, as long as it sits you know, exactly where it needs to be moved. 
Now the other thing that you can do is let's say that you are done with both of these side applications and you want to go with your main screen, then you can just take this one here and just swipe off. Now both of those are gone. Now let's also take a look at what's going to happen if I was, let's say, open up text messaging uh, and I hit on the home button. Now because my main application was YouTube, it got rid of it because I hit the home button. But because I had a side application open, it's basically saved right there with this little baby teardrop. When I wipe it open, uh, now it's gonna you know, basically open up that application one more time. And it's still gonna keep this one over here as my normal home screens. And so uh, when you go inside of your settings though, like the notifications panel, it's gonna go into here. If I go inside of settings itself, then it goes into that side of the phone. So when you do pull down, it's gonna show you your notifications panel and it's gonna over overtake everything. Uh, but other than that, really, uh, you're able to swipe this left or right and you can see this little gray line kind of going through, letting you know, you know, hey, now it's going to be full screen for that application. And then for the last way of setting up all of your multi windows, let's say that you wanted to put, uh, let's say Pokemon Go. So you can actually take an app and you can drag it where you want it to go. So if you want it to be right there in the center, it's gonna be a pop-up view. So it's popped up, it's not gonna be a full screen. Uh, so I'm gonna exit out of that one. But now let's say that I wanna take this one and I put it right there. Now that one is gonna pop up right over here on the right-hand side. And then still I have everything over here that I can still open up. If I press on uh, you, YouTube, it's going to pop up over here. So you got to remember that once you have a side application open over here, this is going to be basically a home page, your main screen. And this is where you can still work with to go into whatever application that you want to open up. So this is kind of how you're able to do multi-window experience on the Samsung Galaxy Fold. I love the way that this one works because in the past you'd have to press and hold, you know, on a app uh, on your recent applications. And then let's say that you touch this, uh, then you can put it into split screen view. And it just, it wasn't that good of experience on the last phones. And then lastly, if you do see that your multi-window tray is kind of open, showing you your last application and you wanted to get rid of it, just make sure that it is highlighted with that little uh, blue light and then you're able to basically hit back all the way. Um, or, I mean, if you keep hitting back, it's gonna get out of it. Or you can just wipe it off and then that one is closed. You can go to your recent applications and then you can close all. So that's kind of how multi-window works on the Samsung Galaxy Fold. It's pretty sweet. You're able to watch a YouTube video over here. You can watch uh, Facebook over here. Uh, then you can do something else. I mean, you can have like Pokemon Go over here or like a game like Asphalt Racing. And if you're over here interacting with the screen, this might pause for a second. But really the amazing thing is that YouTube is always going no matter what you're doing over here. So if you're watching YouTube, sending a text message, and checking out your calendar. It's just so interchangeable. You can do it whatever you need for your own needs, but it's it's really a flawless type of multi-window split screen experience. And I really hope that these can come to tablets and cell phones that was already released and also the upcoming ones. But if the future phones and tablets were to get this new multi-window experience that the Samsung Galaxy Fold has, I hope that there's a way that you can also keep your edge lighting and basically your edge panels. So this way I can do my smart select and everything else that I use on the uh, right hand side with edge panels maybe the right hand side over here could be opening up your multi window uh, and then the left side could be opening up uh, I don't know, possibly that edge panels, or you can also flip flop them. But really, other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.